Let's say we're building an app for buying and selling NFTs. Of course, we're going to need a reusable card component for our NFT listings. So in this video, we're going to design and implement a dynamic reusable React component. And to make it interesting, we're going to do it less than five minutes. This is going to be possible because we're using a tool called Rendition. It's a Figma plugin that allows us to get high quality React code from Figma designs. Quick side note, normally this would take about half an hour. Here I am building this component by hand, having to write all the JSX and CSS myself, export the assets, lost it back and forth between design tool, ID, not much fun. So without further ado, let's get to designing. We'll put five minutes on the clock here and off we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is group all of my designs together using auto layout. And that's gonna give us Flexbox when you generate the code. So our design here is done. Now we're gonna install rendition and Rendition is a plugin to get React code from Figma Designs. We'll open it up, click get the code, and then that's gonna open up a nice browser window with the code already compiled for us. So it's mostly done. There's a few things we wanna fix up. And the first is that we wanna lift up our props so that the component becomes dynamic and we can more easily reuse it. So now that our props are lifted up, we can see this is just finished now. Now we wanna fix this button so it's clickable. And then that's done. Last thing we need to do is copy over these gradients. And these gradients will just make our design kind of pop and look nice. So uh, now we're done. This component is ready to use. And we got done with 19 seconds left to spare. Rather than spending half an hour fussing with CSS, we got this component done in about five minutes. This was possible because of rendition, which is a Figma plugin to get high quality code from your designs. So we went pretty fast in this video, so let me know in the comments if it would be helpful to share a longer walkthrough of how we built this component using Rendition.